Let's check out the most common analog connections you can find on your gear and what they can be used for. First, the unbalanced connections. The mono quarter inch TS jack used for instrument or line level connections such as guitars, synthesizers and effects pedals. The stereo quarter inch TRS jack, which carries two separate channels, used mainly for headphones or for stereo line level outputs in DJ and hi-fi gear. The 1 8 inch or 3.5 mm TS and TRS mini jack, which are smaller versions of the previous two connectors. And the RCA connector, which commonly uses two separate white and red connectors and is usually found on stereo line level inputs and outputs in DJ and hi-fi gear. And now let's have a look at the balance ones. The XLR connector, mainly found on microphones and line level outputs on professional gear. The TRS jack, which carries a mono signal and is also most commonly found on line level outputs on professional gear. The XLR TRS combo jack, which is a combination of the previous two. And the DB25, which carries eight balance signals in one convenient large cable, mainly found on high-end interfaces and consoles. Now let's take a look at the most common digital connections and what they do. We have SPDIF, which uses either a coaxial cable with RCA connectors or an optical cable with Toslink connectors. And it can carry two channels of uncompressed audio or a compressed 5.1 surround sound signal. It can be found in a lot of digital gear such as synthesizers and digital effects and also in consumer active speakers such as soundbars. ADAT which uses optical cables with Toslink connectors and can transfer up to 8 channels of digital audio. And MIDI, which most commonly uses 5-pin DIN connectors and is used to control, synchronize and generally help studio gear communicate with each other. MIDI can be found on synthesizers, effects, audio interfaces, mixers, controllers and so on. If you want to learn more about analog and digital, balanced and unbalanced connections, check out our more in-depth full-length video here. Thank you and see you next time on Mixing.